if you're stopping for the very first time you're so welcomed kindly hit the subscribe button and please hit the bell notification button so you can be the first to be notified when we drop a new clip well we're deeply sorry to like uh, tell you guys about something that happened to two mk party members in the township of Catleong. well brace yourselves as we actually explore the tragedy that actually struck that community and of course the rippling effects that threaten to shake the foundations of peace and unity well it was actually a somber monday night when the tranquility of Catleong was shattered by a horrific act of violence two members of the esteemed mk party uh who were actually called tabo mokoena and lerato komalo were fatally shot in what is believed to be a politically motivated attack the victims known for their unwavering dedication to the betterment of their community were ambushed while returning from a local meeting their lives were cut short in a matter of moments the incident occurred at around 9 p.m. near a bustling tavern that had once been a vibrant hub for community life. But on this fateful night, the area was shrouded in grief and fear as eyewitnesses recounted the chilling details of the attack. According to their accounts, two gunmen approached Mokoena and Kumalo, opening fire without any warning or provocation. The sound of the gunshots echoed through the streets leaving the community in a state of shock and anguish. Tragically, both Mokoena and Komalo succumbed to their injuries at the scene, their dreams and aspirations forever silenced. The MK party, which happens to be a formidable force in local politics, was devastated by the loss of their comrades. Nomsa Dlamini, who happens to be the party's spokesperson, expressed the profound grief and outrage felt by all its members in her own words she said something like we are deeply shocked and saddened by the loss of our comrades well this was actually what she said and she continued saying tabo and lerato were dedicated to the betterment of our community and their deaths are a tremendous loss we call on the authorities to ensure that justice is served swiftly well Katlehong, which happens to be situated southeast of Johannesburg, has a complex and turbulent history when it comes to political violence. While well, in recent years, the township had seen a relatively calm, but this horrific incident now threatens to unravel the fragile peace that had been, pan that had been painstakingly built. Community leaders such as local councillor Sipong Kosi have urged the residents to remain calm as the investigation proceeds. Well, in his own words, he said something like, We must not allow this tragedy to divide us further. Our thoughts are with the families of the victims. We must stand together and walk towards peace and justice. Well, the police have actually launched a thorough investigation into the killings with preliminary findings suggesting a link to the escalating political tensions in the area. The MK party, known for its significant influence in political and local politics, has been at the center of heated disputes with rival groups, and this incident appears to be a manifestation of those underlying conflicts. What was a community of Katlehong mourns the loss of Tabo Mokoena and Lerato Kumalo the air is thick with uncertainty and fear. Residents are grappling with the reality that the fragile peace they had painstakingly built could be shattered once more, plunging the township into a cycle of violence and divisiveness. But in the midst of this darkness, a glimmer of hope remains. The call for unity and justice, echoed by community leaders and the MK party, serves as a beacon of light guiding the way towards a future where the memories of Mokoena and Kumalo can be honored and the community can find the strength to heal and to move on. Well, I urge you to stay with us as we continue to follow this particular unfolding story and of course, we're almost here, we're always here to keep you guys informed with anything we get to find out. Together, 
we will witness the community's resilience, the pursuit of justice, and the potential for a brighter tomorrow. While do not forget to subscribe and do turn on the bell notification button so you can be notified when we drop a new clip. Stay tuned and of course, stay glued. Thank you.